Hi, this is Jodine on Capital Jazz TV. We are on the Super Cruise, the eighth edition. And I am like a little giddy right now because I'm sitting next to Foreplay. How are you guys? Great, thanks. Great. Oh, man, I am so honored to be interviewing you. I've listened to your music my whole life, so I want to thank you for what you've done and the music that you've produced. If you can please introduce yourselves for me individually. I'm Harvey Mason, a founding member and the drummer for Foreplay. Okay. I'm Bob James, also one of the founding forefathers of Foreplay. <laughs> I'm Nathan East, also one of the founding members of Foreplay. Fantastic. And, and share with me, Harvey, what's been some of the highlights that you've enjoyed while being on the cruise? Well, seeing all the people having a great time. Everyone's having a ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just, it's just love everywhere. And, and all the musicians, all the acts. So it's been it's something to do all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. So I've been seeing a lot of shows, congregating with musicians at the end of the night. And oh, absolutely. I, I went, went uh, dancing last night, you know, uh, stepping. Oh, nice. I stepped into the lake, so it's been, a, I've had a ball. Nice. Bob, any highlights for you? Definitely. Many, many. By the way, I want to just apologize for Chuck Loeb, uh, our fourth member right. of Foreplay, who had to leave the cruise early to go back to New York for because he had a couple of conflicts, and mm -hmm. we got our performance in before he left, so everything was cool with that. Mm -hmm. But for me, uh, the big highlight, I, I travel with my wife, and uh, she and I had just passed our 51st wedding anniversary. Congratulations! And, and Nathan happened to mention it in our show that was the second night of the cruise, and we've had such wonderful comments from I mean, every time we walk down the uh, uh, the gangplank or the right. the uh, walk through the ship, everybody's been coming up to us and congratulating us, and have, they've just been really, really nice wow. to us. And it's so, it's so interesting to see people just interacting, like your fans just coming up to you and just shaking your hand and telling you how much they appreciate you. That's the best part of doing this is that we get the opportunity to, to really relax with people. Even if it's a concert, maybe there's mm -hmm. an autograph table afterwards and you get one minute uh, that's f a little bit forced. Mm -hmm. But here it might be breakfast, it, it might be over uh, a Bloody Mary or whatever <laughs> else. So it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun this week. Fantastic. And Nathan, any highlights for you? pretty much every day you mm -hmm. know I mean from uh, the the praise and worship night with Jonathan Butler oh my and, gosh and yes that, it was and Kirk it was just amazing you know yes. to hear Layla I mean Ruben to hear all of my yes. favorite people and singers and players and like Harvey said to to hang out and just kind of uh, fellowship socialize I, I took a yoga class one morning you know Amazing. swimming at midnight well you know so it's really been uh, a week wait a minute, wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> oh, let's I saw this coming I saw this coming do we need a for that <laughs> we can't let him just right. get away with that. Pause on the play. Pause, Pause on the play. <laughs> no, please continue. And he's by himself. <laughs> and he's by himself in this cruise. Yeah. Oh, no, but that's fantastic. One, one magic moment after another, you know. That's fantastic. It, it, it really, it's it's hard to even choose because you know we we had some good ports to Costa Rica and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and, and uh, even Jamaica, which was Plan B, turned right, out to be right. a beautiful place to visit. So right. really fun. And your, your, your concert was packed out, I mean, well attended, um, so many people, so many fans just gave great reviews and about your show. But then, on the schedule, some of you performed individually, and some of your own solo projects, Harvey, you being one yes, of them. Yes, I did. Very, very happy and to have done that and saw so many people, it was packed. Right. We had a great time and the music was great. We, it's a little different than everything that was happening here, but it was really appreciated and I had a ball. Fantastic. And Nathan, when we got back from, what was it, Costa Rica, you had a show immediately afterwards, and the exactly. response was just fantastic. I, I was it just, actually, I was so moved by it because it was actually my first time to play this music with, with the band here. Really? The first time to actually perform uh, under my own name, you know, so it was really? unbelievable. Yeah. So when you guys are doing your, your work individually, and then you do it, you come, to, how does it, you come together and then create foreplay. I mean, how does that work from a musician standpoint? From the very beginning of the group, we loved the idea that the sound of our group would represent not only a collective team kind of thing, but mm -hmm. also our own individual personalities that we would bring to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we would only get together at that time once every two years 
And in the meantime, we were doing solo projects and other things. By the time the two years would roll around, when we would get together, lots of new stuff, lots of new ideas mm -hmm. that we were eager to share and eager to incorporate into our sound. Nice. So tell me about new music coming out soon. Is this what I'm hearing? Yes, we've started our, um, I think this is about our 14th CD or something like For, that. Let, let's get this right. 14th <laughs> album. Fourteen. That's a lot of, that is a lot of work. That's a lot of. Well, after you know more than two decades together, it's uh, it's it will be our silver anniversary. So wow. right now we we're going with the title Silver. Nice. For the uh, CD and Chuck Loeb has already uh, written and contributed two songs which we recorded uh, last week. Oh, so wow. we're already uh, in the forward motion of our 14th CD with foreplay in <laughs> our wow. 25th year. Quarter, wow. quarter of a century. Wow. And Harvey, how are you feeling about this, this next step in your career as well as a solo artist putting your music out there and now the silver anniversary with Foreplay? Well, I'm excited about the silver anniversary with Foreplay, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, to think we've been together 25 years. 25, wow. I think we're going to have a few surprises and it's going to be, we're going to tour and it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. As far as my solo record, I, I have 11 and I never really pursued really being a solo artist until now. It's been fun, and the response has been overwhelming. I've gone out and done spot dates, but it's been fun to kind of pursue that now. And, and so along with foreplay, I think it enhances the band if I go out and, and I perform a little more on my own, and, mm -hmm. and it helps the band. So that's how we look at it. Fantastic. Now, how do people keep in contact with, and I'll ask each and every one of you this, individually as well as foreplay, how do people keep in contact well, they with you? HarveyMason.com is my website. Okay. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter and, and Instagram, and it's all Harvey Mason. Really? Very simple. Fantastic. Fantastic. Bob, as for yourself. I uh, have a website, bobjames.com. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, ex Facebooker, ex Twitterer. You, kinda <laughs> you let it go? <laughs> not my thing. Um, you know, I was spending quite a bit of time uh, in the social networking world, maybe right. a little bit too much, and uh, been real busy composing, creating new right. music this year. And so I let my other guys. Um, put out the news of what's going on in the in in that world my daughter uses facebook a lot and she tells people about what her dad's doing That's and so awesome. there's other ways of of uh staying in touch i don't want to totally be an old fogey and out of it but uh but right we know now where i'm to not find currently you. in in that world yet we know where to find you nate yeah and the same also foreplay is under foreplayjazz.com the website okay. So F O U R P L A Y. Jazz. Say that again. I uh, know. Say it to the camera. <laughs> we so want to know. Foreplayjazz.com is how you get to foreplay. If you just put foreplay.com, I'm not sure what you'll get. <laughs> <laughs> you want foreplayjazz.com, and that's F O U R P L A Y. And then my Facebook and mm -hmm. Twitter and Instagram and the website Nathan East. Nathan East on everything. Well, it's been an honor um, having you guys on this on this on this boat on the ship for Super Cruise Eight here at Capital Jazz. Every time you guys play, you guys bring it. I mean, I know you guys are no strangers to the Capital Jazz um, family, so we thank you so much well, for what you do. We enjoyed jumping on a couple of years ago in Cancun and playing outside at the pool. Oh boy, Casamal. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Casamal. Yes. Oh wow. It, it was so much fun and and. Um, so, you know, it's our second time to perform uh -huh. at the Capital Jazz Cruise. And then we love the Capital Jazz Festival. And of course. But the, the, the thing that strikes me the most is how supportive people are of, of live music and of our mm. music. And it really makes us feel good because, um, you know, everybody's been cheering us on today. I found out they're still playing our music in Atlanta and on the radio. Absolutely. And uh, for me, it just it, it's, it's very special to know that... Uh, people still want to tune in and check out what we're doing. And that is exactly why we need that Silver Anniversary project to come out. Definitely. <laughs> I hope we come back. This has been a serious love fest. Good. Thank you. Good. Thank it's you. It's the love boat. It is the love boat. It is the, it's the jazz love boat here on Super Cruise 8 at Capital Jazz. <laughs>